Hello and welcome to Sunday School for the Children for August 2nd, 2020. Today we're going to be reading about the story of Joshua. We're going to be reading from Joshua chapter 1 verses 1 through 9 and I'm going to be reading from my um, Wesley Bible this morning. After Moses, the Lord's servant, died, the Lord spoke to Joshua, Nun's son. He had been Moses' helper. My servant Moses is dead. Now get ready to cross over the Jordan with this entire people to the land that I am going to give to the Israelites. I am giving you every place where you set foot, exactly as I promised Moses. Your territory will stretch from the desert in the Lebanon as far as the great Euphrates River, including all Hittite land up to the Mediterranean Sea on the west. No one will be able to stand up against you during your lifetime. I will be with you in the same way I was with Moses. I won't desert you or leave you. Be brave and strong because you are the one who will help this people take possession of the land which I pledged to give to their ancestors. Be very brave and strong as you care. Fully obey all of the instruction that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Don't deviate even a bit from it, either to the right or to the left. Then you will have success wherever you go. Never stop speaking about this instruction scroll. Recite it day and night so that you can carefully obey everything written in it. Then you will accomplish your objectives and you will succeed. I've commanded you to be brave and strong, haven't I? Don't be alarmed or terrified because the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. In this story, God has chosen Joshua to succeed Moses and to continue to do what Moses started. The interesting thing about Joshua that you should know is that Joshua twice went to the promised land. He went once with Moses when God showed it to Moses, and now he's going again when God is giving it to him. And he tells Joshua throughout this whole passage, he says, be, be strong and courageous for I will be with you always, and if you obey me, I will never leave you. That's kind of hard to understand that God never leaves us because it's not like your mom or dad. You know when your mom or dad are there. You know when your mom or dad have left. And even though you know your mom and dad are gonna come back, they're still not there with you at that moment. It's different with God. God is with you all the time. Whenever God is with us, it's like this magnet. These magnets that I have, okay? And together, they're always together, all the time. And no matter what we do, we can't separate them. So even if I throw them up in the air, they're separated here. But when I throw them up, they always come back together. But it's also the same when we put them in to the magnets. God is always with us. And even if we walk away, God is still with us. It doesn't matter if we're here or here, God is with us. Now, if we take one of the magnets and put it on the top of my hand, and I bring it down, even though there's something separating the magnet, it's still picking up the paper clips. That's because there's nothing that can separate us from God. We're always going to be there. He's always going to be there with us. If he were to leave, then we would fall. But he doesn't do that. He's with us all the time. Let me go ahead and separate these. So if one of these is us and one of these is God, it doesn't matter. That was kind of loud, wasn't it? I shouldn't shake my hand so much. 
it doesn't matter that my hand is between the magnets. It doesn't matter what we think is between me and God or between you and God. It doesn't matter. God will always be there for us. When you go out today, look all around you. Look at everything that's been created. And just think, God is with us all the time. And we get to see him in everything that he created for us, including me and you. He created us in his image. All we have to do is look to another person to see the face of God. Will you please pray with me? Dear Heavenly and Gracious Father, thank you so much for everything that you do for us. Thank you for the trees that you have made green and leafy and big. Thank you for the grass that grows constantly every day. Thank you for the rain that nourishes everything. And thank you, Lord, for giving us each other so that whenever we feel alone, and sometimes when we don't feel your presence, you're only as far away as our heart. Be with us each and every day and keep us safe. In your name we pray, amen. I hope that you have a blessed day.